finally back down to the plot. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been here. Um, actually, probably towards the start of this month was the last time that I was here. Um, I've been doing other bits in the garden, like fixing our hot tub and trying to tidy an area to sort of build a a kind of a shed type structure to put our hot tub in. Um, so that's been taking up a bit of my time. Um, but I have found some things that I'm going to bring down here. Um, so I've got a pond liner so I can have a wildlife pond down here. Um, as well as lots of uh, bits of wood and things like that that I'll be able to use around the, the plot. So I thought as it's the end of the May, um, sorry, end of May, we'll have a little uh, plot tour and see how it's all going. Now today I am down here cutting the grass to start with, so I've done one of the plots but I haven't done the other yet, but need a little break so I thought I'd film this tour now. So I thought we'd start at plot 89, as you can see, the sign has gone, that's because I've taken it home to refurbish the tired. We've got the daffodils are gone, but we've got these lovely flowers growing in their place. These aren't ones that I planted, they're just um, sort of wild flowers, um, but I'm going to leave them there for the moment because the bees seem to like them. And we've got a few coming up on this side as well. As you can see, everything has gone wild in the few weeks I've not been here. So the path is still looking nice. Um, around here, the grass is growing quite well dry. So this will be strimmed out and ready to replace all the raspberries when I get around to it. Same with the end here and over there. A little bit of strimming to do around the cherry bushes. They need a good drink as well. This side, white currants seems to be growing quite well. Um, again, a bit of strimming to do around them. And the roses are looking a bit parched as well. Now you may remember that I cleared this off a little while ago. We've got lots of buttercups growing in here at the moment. The plan is um, to cover this in wheat membrane shortly and plant my strawberry runners, which I've got 20 of at the moment. And around the rhubarb, we've got a load of grass that's growing up as well. And we've got the radish popping up around everywhere as it does every year. So I will try and keep some of that and grow it in a pot separately. So do like a bit of So going up a bit further, you can see I've trimmed the grass down here and it's looking quite nice. Um, grass has started to grow in this bed again. That needs to be cleared and sieved and I'll get something in there. I might put my corn in there because that's ready to come out. Over the back, um, I hadn't done anything to these yet, but they've started growing a fair amount on them, so it'll be time to clear those off soon and get stuff, stuff in those planted. Broad beans are doing really well. I've given this a quick hoe today. It's got rid of all the weeds. Um, it doesn't get rid of them completely, but I know that I'm not as good at getting rid of weeds as they are growing, so my plan is just to keep them down as much as I can and weaken them with the hoe. Which seems to work quite well, particularly on this as it was a no bed, no dig bed. It means they come up really easily and they're not big perennial weeds. They seem to be small annuals, which are quite easy to get rid of. This one needs a bit of a clear um, and I'll probably put a courgette in the middle of that one. I've got a few of those ready to grow. And this is where the cabbages were. Now I think the uh, cabbage white has been out because these look well and truly nibbled. That said, there is still some growth down in the middle. Um, that seems to be the case with all of these. So these are, you know, these have lasted a year in the greenhouse. So I'll, I plan to keep them. I'll get rid of all the weeds around them and look at putting some form of netting over them at some point after I've checked that there's none of the uh, cabbage white um, caterpillars in here anywhere. Or I might just leave them fending for themselves. I'm not sure yet. Trees are all looking okay. Still the stump of the one there that I knocked over accidentally. And these ones are doing alright as well. This apple tree does need staking up, but I'll probably stake all of these up. And my plan actually is to remove this one in the middle and move that over to the second plot. Or maybe somewhere else on this plot, I haven't decided yet. Just to give these other two a bit more space. Then looking up the plot, not a lot else has changed. The back is looking very overgrown, but at the moment I'm gonna leave that for a little while because the bees seem to love it. And if I'm not using that bit of space, then they may as well enjoy it. Veggie pods stood up in the last storms that we had. It moved a little bit, but what I do think I need to do is potentially put some weed membrane underneath because it, the weeds are starting to grow through. And then 
I've managed to uh, lawn mow all the way up to the tea bunker, which I have been uh, updating the inside and getting it ready to use, particularly over the winter. At the moment, I don't feel a lot of need to sit in there unless it starts dipping it down with rain. But over the winter, I think I'll be using it for my, well, for its original purpose for making tea. Right, let's have a wander over to the second plot. So we're now at the second plot, and as you can see, there's a lot of grass growing. So I'll be back to do a tour in a little while when I've uh, run the lawnmower around. So we're back, um, lots more lawnmowing done. I haven't cleared all of the grass on this plot. Um, some of it says plants I want to dig up. So I'm contemplating digging some of the raspberries up on this plot and moving them to a bed that I'm going to create later on. So I can use the front mainly for vegetables. But let's go and have a look and see what it's looking like. So as with the other plot, the sign is off for refurbishment at the moment. I'm going to get around to it. But what we have done, um, me and my wife, a little while ago, um, a couple of weeks ago we were last down, we spent a lot of time putting all this weed membrane around these pallet collars. And I have to say, it's, it took a lot of hard work, but it's looking quite nice. And as you can see at the back, we've started barking the area over, um, but there are limited amounts of bark on site at the moment. So I will dig what's left and try and put it on here. Um, if not, I might have to wait until another delivery at some point. But I think they've refurbished the car park to look on site, so it could be a little while. Um, the plan is with this back area is where I'm going to put my pots with potatoes in. I'll leave a little walkway out the middle still. And I'm going to use these six pallet collars um, for flowers, just to make a little bit of colour onto the plot as well. Now going back to the front again. Something has been having a right go at my red onions. As you can see, they were coming up quite nicely. It looks like something's been digging in there. So I don't know what that is. But I think the likelihood is we are going to lose all of the red onions. I've never had much luck with the red onions before, actually. Come up to the white onions. Nothing seems to have had a go at these. There's a few weeds in here that need to be taken out. But because this is just compost, that's easy enough to do. I can just pull them up. And generally, they're not that deeply rooted. There we go. It looks a lot better, even just with the couple of weeds pulled out but as you can see actually these seem to be fattening up a little bit better than the red ones and they seem to be staying rooted down as well <coughs> moving across these are my garlics now i know uh, it looks like there's a little bit of rust on some of them but they've done remarkably well considering they've kind of just been left to it over winter and now as well um I know when some of the leaves start dying off is generally when it's hard to pick them. Um, I've not had a look to see how fully formed the garlics are yet. But having a little feel down, they don't feel that big. They seem to be bulbing up a little bit from what I can feel. But I'm not 100% sure whether they're going to split again like last year because they do feel like one. But I'm going to leave them for a while longer and see what happens. Now this one has got a lot more weeds in, but this was the shallots. And as you can see all over the place, actually, there are lots of stems coming up for these shallots. So hopefully we'll get a reasonable crop of those. And in fact, actually looking down here, where I planted one of them, you've got a nice big bunch of... Do you know what? I think this might actually be the uh, garlics. Looking at it. Because that seems to have closed up a lot. I'll have to look back at the previous videos and see. This is either shallots or garlic. I'm not 100% sure. But this does seem to be cloving up. If it's shallots, they're doing remarkably well. If it's uh, garlic, they've got a bit weird. I think they're shallots. Have a look back and uh, see on the previous videos. So, because of the compost shortage recently, I've not managed to get these ones filled. Um, hopefully, now that we can get down to garden centres, I'll be able to fill these up. And with these ones, these are going to be for my carrots and parsnips. So, I don't really want to fill them up fully with compost. So, I'll probably get some sand. Um, um, there's some areas that I need to dig out on the plot for pond and other bits that I'll use the soil from those sieved into these. 
we've still got the current bushes here. I, I think they're black currants, but I don't know. I've not ever had anything actually come off of them, but I've only had this plot a year. Um, this is an area that needs tidying. I've not gone over it with the lawnmower because the previous plot holder left lots of bamboo canes and other stuff like that in here. So I need to have a good search through and see what bits are usable, which bits aren't, and uh, clear this area because I believe this can be a nice big growing space here. And what I might do is either use pallet collars along here or I might just have it as a traditional kind of open bed, but we'll see. This area here is where there's lots of raspberry canes that were left here before. Um, I've not trimmed these down previously, so I don't think they're gonna come to much this year. Um, and there's a rhubarb there as well. But my plan is potentially to move this raspberry bed and put it in this space here. I've got some fence posts, which I can make the edge of the bed out of. As you can see, there's kind of a brief, broad outline of what, a couple of the edges. So I may just bring it along here and then up to there. Um, I'll make that into a bed, whatever. I think that's where I'm gonna move the raspberries to. And I may well actually get rid of the raspberry bed on the other plot and use that for something else. Um, yeah. So this looks like there's a makeshift compost bin here. Um, Again, this area needs to be sorted out and uh, gone through to see if there's anything in there that I want to keep. I think this is actually just where they used to dump bits and bobs. So there is a window, there's some netting and other bits and bobs in there. So I uh, will have a look through and uh, see what I want to keep. And then in this area, we've got the, the trees still. All the blossoms gone. Um, I don't know whether they've sort of successfully pollinated they didn't last year. I didn't get any fruit off of this. And it's the same with the apple trees as well. Um, the first year that I moved here, there was apples on these trees. There were a decent amount of blossom this year. Last year it didn't blossom at all. So hopefully as it's blossomed this year, we'll get some fruit off this as well, but I don't know. This is the flowering current, which has kind of come to an end now. I really like this, it adds a bit of color to the plot. I think I'll probably leave that there. As much as it'd be nice to have it elsewhere on the plot, I think moving it would probably kill it off. A little water butt there, which I will probably find a use for somewhere. And here we've got a current of some description. It could be a gooseberry actually. Looking at the fruits on here. If anyone knows what it is, let me know. I think it is actually a gooseberry. And then I think the one next to it maybe ah yeah so on this one i'm getting lots of these which again do look like they could be currants but i'm not sure they have different leaves to what the uh black currant bushes have got may well be that these are white currants or something it might be that they're gooseberries i'm not sure if anyone knows let me know in the comments so up here is gonna be another bed which i haven't um dug over yet now, you can see this a, looks a little bit of a mess. So I had built a nice frame. I made loads of netting out of um, biodegradable um, string for. And then we had a storm and it all got destroyed. So I will be putting another frame up, but I'll build it a bit sturdier next time. And then we've got this frame that I bought from a garden centre last year. Surprise, surprise, it was reduced when I bought it. So I do love a bargain. I did have some runner beans planted along here, thinking that all the frost had gone. But unfortunately, the frost got to these. That surprise frost we had a few weeks ago. And uh, then I think they've been damaged by the frost and then destroyed by the heat afterwards. So I've got plenty more growing in the greenhouse, which I will move to here soon. And there we go, that is the second plot. So thank you for watching that little plot tour. I hope it was uh, interesting for you. Um, things are definitely coming along, slowly but surely. And I have to say, having gone over it with the lawnmower, I'm feeling a lot better about it than I did when I walked through yesterday. It was like a jungle yesterday. The, the grass was sort of knee to waist high everywhere after only a few weeks. And it kind of really, you know, knocks your mojo a little bit. But, you know, I thought I'd come out today, lawnmower, and actually it's not looking too bad at all. A bit of tidying up to do, um, and then it's cracking back on with getting new beds sorted and planting things out. 
one thing I will just say is remember I've got my competition that ends tonight so if you haven't entered yet please do I'll put a link in the description for the recent video about the competition that I did that ends at midnight tonight and that's to win one of the paper pot makers so that's all from me today um, I will be along later to do some more bits but I'm going to go home have some lunch and drink plenty of water because it is baking hot down here so take care happy lotmanton Thank you.